Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement trophy guide and this time we are getting it all in Creepy Tale. Now this was developed by Creepy Brothers, published by No Gravity Games and it's usually available for £8.39 slash $9.99 but it's on sale frequently and at the time of this recording was on sale for just two quid and bucks. Baggio. So we play as Millhouse, probably his name, kind of reminds me of a Millhouse. Uh, who, after going for a lovely walk in the forest, turns to horror as... The bears go out to the woods today to find a big surprise. Two young boys picking mushrooms, magic went to their eyes. And you know the song, and so on and so forth. Uh, anyway, as for <laughs> achievements, they are easy enough, but some can be easy to miss if you're not paying attention. Uh, for example, we need to find a couple of buttons and other sort of random miscellaneous achievements on the way. Luckily, if you do miss something, all chapters are very short, so you can just go ahead and reload a chapter and aim what you're going for. Uh, but pretty much you can get this done within around 30 to 40 minutes, so with that being said then, let's do it as usual. So, obviously we're just going to go ahead and play this tang. Uh, very easy, it's kind of like a point and click adventure. Uh, we got to pick up a few things, do a couple of puzzles and stuff like that. Yeah, very easy. Very, it's uh, very, really enjoyable actually. And uh, Creepy Tale two and three are even longer, so I'll be looking forward to grabbing them. So here we go. Then we're on the old uh, magic mushroom. Um, find. So what you got to do then? Um, it's the A button to jump, left stick to walk, the X button to interact with things. So the X button here. We're going to be picking up four mushrooms, which are underneath some leaves. So again, make sure to be pressing the X button for all four, and that'll be the same for going inside houses, going up and down stairs and everything. You will need to press the X button in order to, to basically do everything in this game. Uh, so A button to jump, just keep smashing over until your brother goes in a house and gets caught by big puby monsters. So, spooky stuff, go up to the window, press the X button here to look in, and it is all big cucumber pubes, because they do kind of just look like hairy, moldy cucumbers with pubes on them that you see, you know, when they go under the fridge for a while? Yeah, they kind of just look like that, so we're going to call them the cucumber pube monsters. So pick up the mushroom, again, all X button, put it on this stumpy log, and then run over to the right-hand side, just behind the door after you knock it, again, all with the X button. As soon as cucumber pube monster nips off, Again, press the X button to go into the door, and we're going to get our first achievement. Open up the chest here, jump in, but do not press the X button to close it. Just keep it nice and open, and he's going to put you under the fridge so you turn into a human pube yourself. But when we begin, uh, once again, we're going to jump in, and this time we're going to press the X button twice in order to close the chest. So again, the only time you'll press the A button is when you jump. The X button will be for doing everything else. So jump, jump out here, grab this bone from the door, put it on this stool onto the right. Like I said, always with the X button. Uh, drag it again with the X button all the way over to the left. Jump up, jump up, jump up and get down after you grab the key. Once you grab the key, drop down and open up the door. Job done. I don't know why we had to do this. Like surely we could have just got around the house, but anyway. Uh, first button here, just after this sign, so here it is, right on the top of this little peaky hill. Let's so make sure to pick up the button, and he's going to be like, ew, button. But be careful here, make sure to jump over the leaves here. As you can see, I fell straight down and died. Um, so that's why there was a little bit of an edit. But anyway, push the log down, drop down, you're all good. Right, so what we need to do is go to the right, jump over the mon- Pick up these flowers first, then jump over the monster, and then jump over the remaining flowers. So jump over that one, press the Y button here to pop the flowers down, and then simply run into them. Now quickly, as soon as you do that, so again, press the Y button to drop them down, run into them, and then start climbing up the, the leaves all the way to the top, because the monster will be coming. If he catches you, you die, obviously, that pretty much makes sense. Uh, but as soon as you get so far, sort of on basically the second leaf, he will just fall down, which is all good. That's what we need, because we're going to drop straight back down. We're asserting our dominance as the human. So drop all the way down, jump over the log on the left here, or jump onto the log on the left. And then just have a look there, the creature is just behind the box, that'll get us the Dominance achievement there. Dominankios. Yeah, you don't mess with us, bruh. 
Right, we're going to get another achievement quickly as well now. So what we're going to do is head back up the veiny leaves. But instead of going to the right, what we're going to do is head to the left. Simply die in the sandpit. And jobs as good as your nan's uncle's beanbag. There we go, and then we're going to get the incorrigible researcher achievement. Well, that makes me sound posh, doesn't it? And then we can just simply go ahead and spam our way into the flowers and continue on with the game. So, jump, 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 and then go to the right. So what we're going to do now, it's again a little bit of a puzzle. So you basically need to pick up the plank from one side and pop it to the other, go on to the next one. Pick up the plank, put it to the side of the other, but do not put it all the way over to the right hand side Put it so it's about so just in jumping distance. So about here is good Pick up this lever and then head to the right. Oh my god. I'm so creeped out right now And what you're gonna do is pop the lever down Go to the right and then the monster is gonna start chasing us. So head all the way to the left He does catch up quick. Sometimes he may catch you randomly and then other times he may not. He might just be behind you. But just go ahead, jump over the bridge. Wait until he starts going back. This is a pube monster with extra mold on his head, by the way. And then as soon as he... Now there's going to be a little bit of a trap here. So what you're going to see, as soon as he goes over the bridge right there, open it. And then you're going to actually drop down into it as well. So you're both going to die together. And that will get you the achievement called Dead Together, which is always nice. So you just need to do that bit again. So, with the monster, make sure, again, for some reason, he somehow caught me the first time. So, if that happens, just do this bit again. Jump all the way to the left, and then when he uh, crosses over the bridge, pop him down into the water. How do you fall for that twice, douche nozzle? Anyway, with that one done, we can now just carry on, ignoring uh, evil Sonic the Hedgehog right there. And on to the next part. We're on to chapter two now. The more obscure side of the forest. Grande, grande. Right, so a few things we're going to do here. We're going to have a little look in the window and be like, Hello, little piggy. <coughs> What's up, Pepper? You're looking different than in your uh, TV days. Then we're going to go ahead into the house. He's going to climb up, so don't worry about that. Make sure to pick up the bucket here. So make sure to pick up the bucket. Then go outside. Pick up the big, delicious bit of butcher's meat right there. And then we can drop down onto the mushroom. Carry on to the right. Pick up this stick, which is just sticking out of the branch. And then because we got the bucket, we will press the X button here to pop the bucket down. Bit of an edit. I actually missed the bucket the first time round, but, you know, it's all good. Uh, push it down to get some water. Delicious. Actually, it's in this horrible world, so that's actually urine you're going to be drinking. Uh, it's good for the skin, you know. So pick up the mushroom before jumping on the Mario mushroom. Put the bucket on the fire. And then press the X button again on the stick. And then press the X button again to pick up um, what is... Is a rune, I believe. Yeah, rune will do. So go to the right, put the bucket back down again, and we're going to get some more urinated, caffeinated, beanated water. Pick up the bucket again, and this time we're going to head onto the Mario Mushroom and into the house and trouten. So into the house we go. Right, he's just going to nip up there again, so that's all good. So what you're going to do is go over to the left, press the X button to put the mushroom down, and then the bucket of water. Drag it over to the right, and then we can jump up. Don't worry, he's not going to attack you, because he is a pounzy. Uh, grab the sewing needle from the pillow, only one we need, then we can drop down, and we can leave him, we can just leave him be now. That's, uh, that's nice of us, isn't it? So, drop down onto the magic mushroom to the right, I mean Mario mushroom. And then there's another button here, so make sure to grab this. Uh, this is the second out of three buttons between the well and the... Satan thing on the right, so make sure to grab that one. That should be button two out of three. Then we're going to press the X button a couple of times here uh, in order to open up the door. So I tell you what, we've only been doing this for ten minutes, and it already feels like crammed and packed. Oh, 
Right, just as a warning, if you do get caught by the witch at any point during this, you do have to start this bit again, which is, uh... It's not so bad when you get used to it and you know what you're doing, but it's a bit of a pain if you get caught first. So, just wait here until she nips off into the third room, and then go ahead and hide in the wardrobe. And then what we need to do is actually wait a little bit until she goes past us to the left. Now, give it a few seconds, wait until the footsteps stop, and then get out. Grab the uh, ladle here, just on the left-hand side of the fire, and then the bucket of water on the right, and then drop down. If you miss any of those, just wait until she goes back into the left room and grab the next one. Head to the fireplace and press the X button a couple of times here to light up, light up my fire. And put the bucket of water down, grab the key from the pillow on the bed. Now what we need to do is actually just go ahead and put 10 different bits of mushrooms in there. So it doesn't matter which order you put them in, it doesn't matter what mushrooms, uh, but you literally just have to put uh, at least 11 mushrooms in to get the crazy chef achievement. So, you know, mushroom yourself up, boys! So, as I said, any mushrooms would have done for the achievement, but we're going to actually start nipping it on now. So, what we're going to do is grab the, um, not that one, that one's all good, the achievement unlocks. Right, now what we're going to do then is grab the very right-hand side sort of bottom one. So, this is how to actually get the potion going. As you can see, it turned blue and purple. Next one, grab the top one from the sort of second from the right. Grab that, that should go greeny, yellow or whatever. And then lastly, grab the top uh, the bottom third one, sorry. So the bottom third one right there. That will give off this little scully thing. Job done. Now we've got a, a bit more of a waiting game to do again. Uh, so just wait until... Uh, wait until your mama... <laughs> I'm sorry. No, that was a cruel joke. Wait until, of course, once again, she's going to nip all the way into the left-hand side room. Because if she only goes into the second room, she's going to come straight back. So be careful. Witchy face. Right, so there she goes. She's going to go into the left-hand side, uh, very left-hand side. So we'll go back in the wardrobe. Wait until she goes past to the right. Now, very importantly, in the very left room that we need to be in, we need to grab a jar, but more importantly, we need to close the door. So go to the left, open up the curtain, grab the jar from this cupboard, and then close the door and get back in the wardrobe. If you do not close the door and you come back out of the wardrobe, she will know that someone's there, she'll catch you, you die, you've got to do all that bit again, so, just be careful. Again, make sure to close the door, otherwise, it's all gravin in the blabbin. There she goes, she's going to nip past, once she's done, nip out, go down the stairs again, and then just interact with the green bowl of stinky fat death juice. And again, just wait until she goes all the way into the left-hand side room. And when she starts nipping off, head your ass back up. Interact with the green juicy bowl. And then, when she comes back, she's going to have a little sip, and then it's literally like fart in a jar. she got fart down her mouth, and then she basically dies. So, uh, yeah. My advice, don't fart down people's mouths. Job done, no problem. Any advice you need, <laughs> I'm full of good stuff. Yep, here she goes, look. That's what happens when you fart in someone's mouth. Blech. Anyway, we'll get the alchemist achievement, plus we can get the key off her person. And now we can head back down and out to the right hand side. There we go, flying through this game now, man. Right, keep heading to the right. Going to be doing, obviously, lots more things. Um, we're going to have a look inside this tree trunk, grab the flute. 
you got to press down, by the way, to back out and grab the button. This will be the last button and the follow your brother achievement. Look at it. We're all good. Uh, so uh, jump up onto the mushroom to get up here and have a look again. Again, press down on the D-pad to get back out or on the left stick or whatever. Sorry. Uh, interact with the door and that'll go in. Don't worry. You're not going to be attacked because we've got a little cucumber puby. I'll just call him a pubumber, actually. <laughs> The little pew bumper here is sleeping, so that'll all be good. Head back outside, jump up, and then what you're going to do is just press the Y button once to start playing a tune. Again, it's the Y button they'll be using to do your flute. You'll get a face, your face full of dirt, hopefully that's dirt, and nothing else, and we'll get the fake tune achievement. So back in the house, what we're going to do is we're going to take a nap first. We basically have to be seeing all the dreams now. So what you can see is a lever on the left. Now what you need to do is uh, push it over to the left slightly to go to the next dream catcher. Uh, but you've actually got to stop it yourself by putting it in the middle. And you know you've got the right one there when uh, it's obviously highlighted. So once it's highlighted, again, press the X button here to interact with the bed. You'll get yet another dream. Uh, this time it was evil Sonic the Hedgehog. Whatever the hell there was. And again, just do the same. So drag it over to the left, pop it straight back into the middle. And basically what you're going to do is just keep doing this for the time being. But after we get this dream catcher and this dream done, what we're going to do is turn the lever all the way to the left. Uh, we're going to take a little lie down on the bed again, and then all your dreams are going to be like... As you can see, but that gets us the idler achievement. So your brain's all meshed up, but we get an achievement. So, so good, so good. Right, head back out to the left, jump up here, press the Y button, you will get the proper tune. And the old pew bumper will clap and shove us a yellow button. Thank you very much. Right, drop down. And you're going to uh, press the Y button here to make this strawberry grow. Is it a strawberry or is it a cherry? It's a something brie. So uh, you need to uh, press the flute twice in order to get them to grow. And it's the same here with the left-hand side one. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then... Yeah, 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 yeah. And there we go. So what we can do now is go to the right... Interact with the tree hole trunk again. We can grab the button. Make sure to obviously grab it. And then just go all the way to the right into the housing trousen. And uh, let's get out of here. And when we do get out of here, we're going to play the uh, fake tune. I mean, the um, sax, the claramophone twice. Clara my phone. Okay, and then we're gonna head to the right. Gonna uh, no, in fact, not that's it. No, um, this tree's really had enough of us, so he uh, just crushes it. So, well, I guess we're not needing that no more. So, uh, yep, just keep heading to the right where a cutscene will play out. <gasps> eh, yeah. Who could be behind all these pew bumbers? Oh, it's just little girl. Hello. 
little girl. Anyway, off to the right to start chapter three. Little evil. Err, and then the spooky music. Err. Right, so what we got? Ten mins left? Happy days. Right, go into the second of these doors. Now, this next achievement and puzzle, some people are saying it's random, but personally it wasn't for me. Anyway, so what we're going to do from left to right is one to four. So step on the fourth one, and then the third one, then the fourth one again, then the third one, then the second one, then the first one, then the second one, then the first one, then the second one, and then the third one and press the lever. So again, a few people have said it's randomized, but I don't know if it's the same on the first playthrough, but if you reload the chapter, it may then be random. So just keep an eye out for that one, okay? Uh, but hopefully it's the same for you if you've been playing all the way through so far. So what we're gonna do is head up, we're gonna grab this bell from the uh, right hand side, interact with this lever, and we're gonna drop all the way back down. And we can just head back out for now. Um, and another cutscene's gonna happen where little girl will appear. And look at that, it's pretty baldest, isn't it? Oh yeah, let's just kidnap the bald one. I am suing for baldamity. Famity, bald famity. That's a that's a word, right? Oh no, it's all good, the bald one's just the, uh, he's just gonna be the angry monster for us. Right, okay, that'll do. So, let us crack on, shall we? We've only got four achievements left to grab as well, in no time at all. So, head to the left-hand side now and enter through this door. Uh, go to the left and we're going to grab the uh, rune, or the coin, the rune. Uh, head upstairs, and then onto the right-hand side here, make sure to grab... Uh, another item, the fishing rod actually, so we can head back down, back outside, and then press the Y button here in order to fish. Wait for around 10 to 15 seconds or so, and we will get the true fisherman achievement. Oh man, it's a true fisherman. There we go, so there we go, after about 10, 15 seconds, press the Y button again, you should get the achievement. If not, just try again. Uh, otherwise, what we can do is go all the way to the right-hand side. Don't worry about the pube cumbers monsters. They're chilling, sleeping, job done. Uh, press the Y button here to fish the fish. And that'll do Stanley Piggy. Right, now we're going to go all the way to the left-hand side one again. Jump and cry and... Right, here we go. So, uh, heading up. Again, obviously, try not to be caught by the creepy librarian, but we're going to attach the bell here to the rope, grab the next rune off the bookshelf, and the one on the left-hand side bookshelf, so you should have three now. Uh, so just wait until this guy is starting to head... Uh, sorry, no, we're going back down, because we're going to grab... We're going to ring the bell when the guy's on the right-hand side, and then head all the way to the left, but s just stand by this bookcase. Obviously, if he wasn't on the right-hand side... He would have caught you and, you know, you'd be dead. Right, now we can head up. Make sure to go all the way up to the top floor. And then on the right-hand side here, grab a spooky, scary mask. And a rune on the floor just by the chest. Then interact with the birdcage. He's going to drop the fifth and final rune. Uh, so just hold the left stick to the left to start slamming it down. Uh, the hook. What you need to do, though, is uh, pop the fish onto it first. So, ha fish! And then put it down. So, uh, put it in his eye view for now. And then what he'll do is go... Like that. And then when, once he starts coming and he has seen it, move the fish just up a little bit more slightly so that he cannot catch it. And obviously that he's going to need, need to be distracted for a long time. Right, so another puzzle coming up. Interact with the room board in the middle of the room. Uh, interact with the... So press the second one. Third one. Fourth one. Fifth one, and sixth one. Press sixth one again. 
Then you're going to press the first one, the second one, the second one again, the third one, the first one, the second one, fourth, second, third, fifth, and finally sixth again. So hopefully that was all good. Um, and you could follow along easy, uh, grab the key anyway, and we can just head back down. He's going to be distracted for a long while. Um, and then we can just get out of here. So again, I do apologize if this, uh, this is seeming to be a bit quick. Um, or, I mean, hopefully I've explained everything as, as well as I possibly can. Right, so head back up, interact with the lever. And then what we can do is interact with the little keyhole, little tiny keyhole on the right. That's going to get us up some platforms to platform on. And then when we get to the final one, the final small one here, press the Y button to do some fishing. And uh, that'll uh, whack the lever back up. So again, just press the Y button to... Why, mommy? Why? Sorry. And then just jump over to the left-hand side. Make sure to press the Y button to fish up the ladder. And then press the X button to just climb up. Apparently, I really didn't get the memo. Press the X button to climb up, douchebag. Oh, there we go. See, I got there eventually. Anyway, heading all the way to the right-hand side, jump off, and the spirits of the Guardian of the Forest will save you. So, on to the last part of the game now. So, what we can do here is interact with the book. It's basically going to tell you what to do. Um, if it's confusing, then it's all good. I'll just tell you what to do anyway. So, head upstairs, go to the left and pick up the jar of the butterfly. Go to the right and interact with the uh, chemist, the chemistry set here. Now, interact with the first one first. So, the left to right is obviously the first one, then the fourth one. So, it'll be one, four, and five. That's what you need to interact with. One, four, and five. Then interact with the Bunsen burner and that'll burn the Bunsens off them. And then it'll mix up a potion, and well, you've we've all done uh, science class, haven't we? So we interact with it there to dip the butterfly blue. Then we can drain it off here by interacting with the tap. Go to the right and interact with the monster, and he's going to be all like, Ugh. And then according to every American, that is basically British teeth, because we don't have dentists over in Britain, of course. Uh, so, <laughs> so head down. And then what we're going to do is go to the right. When the two characters here are going to the right, Make sure to grab the carrot off the table. Obviously, don't get too close, otherwise that's death. Interact with the chemistry set again and interact with uh, number two. And then number three. And for the final begonians, number four. Two, three, and four. You're going to need to interact with that one. Interact with L. Bernie of the old Bunsen Huns. And that's going to obviously do that whole bubbly thing where it Bunsen burns up. Then interact with it to dip the carrot into it. Interact with the British Teethed Monster. And obviously he's going to go nuts, but we're actually going to now play the monster. Uh, important achievement here coming up, uh, which I actually missed the first time. So what you need to do is just go to the monster here on the right. Pick him up, but do not drop him. Do not drop him just yet. So press the X button to pick him up, and then leave it for about 20 seconds or so. So, um, and the reason is because we're going to get the sweet feeling achievement. So, obviously, if you just drop him straight away, what you'll have to do is just replay episode 8 like I had to. Do all the chemistry stuff again. Uh, but after about 20 seconds, drop him. Job done. Then go into the next room. And you can pretty much just smash the girl dead. There we go. Uh, shouldn't probably, shouldn't be saying as a monster, go kill that little girl. Shouldn't say that, should I? Anyway, uh, head down. Um, that's basically it. So what we need to do is just do one more small puzzle and it's basically game's end. So, um, press the first two on the top here and then interact with, uh, sorry, the first three and then interact with the bottom one. Then you're going to interact with the top two and then interact with the bottom one. And then finally, you're going to interact with the top four and then the last bottom one. And that's going to open up the door. I mean, it's not a very good um, hidden door because, I mean, toddlers can figure that crap out easy as hell as well. Uh, head over to the right. You know what toddlers and stuff are like? They just go, nya, 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 and then go, wow, look at me. I just opened up this door full of butterflies. 
so jump up onto this sort of second bookcase, and then if you can jump up to the top, press the X button to grab the key, head to the left, pop it down, and this is pretty much now the end of the game. We're going to find our brother, and for once in games like this, we get a happy ending, which I am all for, because I hate it when games make you go through a whole bunch of crap to save someone and they just die in the end anyway, so... Well done everyone, well done Creepy Brothers for actually having a happy ending for this one. So, there we go, there he is, he's all good. Uh, apparently we're just going to leave the rest, but hey, not my problem, I only came looking for me brother. So there we go guys and gals, so thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the game, I really hope you enjoyed the guide as well and that it helped. If it did of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share with a friend as well. Decaf Studio, Deflack. Uh, there's the happy end achievement. Uh, big shout out to all my Patreon supporters and all my YouTube members as well. So thank you so, so much. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you in the next one, guys and gals. Bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye